guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be on a super simple and super fast primary colors look that i posted on instagram that you guys are really gagged over if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'm making new videos every week and if you guys want to see how i did this video then keep on watching so right now i'm just doing my brows and i'm not going to show the full video just because my brows do take the longest i am just going to be taking my anastasia brow powder and granite and also going to be cleaning up my brows with the elf concealer So the things you're going to need are these two palettes or any palettes that really have any yellows. I'm using this Hush palette and the Morphe 35B palette and I'm just using those two yellows. And to prime my eyelids, I am just going to be taking this NYX Milk Jumbo Stick just to prime my eyes for the colors to be more vibrant. And I'm just going to be taking some of that NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil on my finger and putting it on my eyelid just because I feel like it just blends out more easier using your finger than a brush your fingers are the best blending tools in some situations and i'm just going to be doing that on the other eye as well and i actually had a visitor right now my little rottweiler puppy if you guys follow me on snapchat which i will actually put my snapchat name somewhere inside the video you guys would see that i literally snatch up them every day because they are the light of my life and bring joy to anyone in my house if you guys actually live in the tracy area or around there and you guys want one go ahead and message me because we actually been trying to sell them for christmas gifts so if you guys want one hit your girl up so I am going to be taking that white shadow from the 35B palette from Morphe just to set my whole eyes because you don't want your primer that you use to move around. And then you're going to be taking that yellow and literally putting it everywhere. Like you guys want to keep layering this yellow just because it's not as vibrant when you put it on. But when you layer it on, it gets more vibrant as you blend it out. So you're just going to want to keep layering and layering and layering until the yellow is up to your standards. And I believe this is the Morphe M504 brush from the Rose Gold Collection. I'm not sure because I don't have the products with me right now, but I'm pretty sure that's the brush. So you guys can see that I'm literally blending my life away. The next palette I'm going to be using is this palette from Hush. I don't know the name of it actually. Um, it's just like the dupe of the Venus 2 or 1 palette. And I'm just going to be taking that yellow color. It's called Mustard. And just making this yellow more vibrant and mustardy. Because I love mustard yellows. And... Uh, I am just going to be taking this face primer from Amore Us Perfecting Face Primer. This is supposed to help with a dark, like uneven darkness in your skin. So you're just going to want to rub that around before you apply your foundation. Once you are done putting your primer all over your face, I am just going to be taking this Anastasia contour kit with a Real Techniques buffing brush and just taking that light shade. I know what you're thinking, girl, isn't that too light for you? Yes, it is actually really light for me, but I'm just making this my base of my foundation because I really like a really thick, not really thick, but I like a full coverage foundation and using this and using another foundation on top of it just makes it extra full coverage. And yeah, I'm just buffing this all over my face, just making sure I got everything. And then I'm just going in with my Anastasia Stick Foundation in Amber. And once I buff everything out, it is going to be actually like the perfect shade for me. So this is what I have to do to look this bomb. And then I'm just going to be taking my LA Colors Concealer and medium beige this has to be like my favorite concealer just because of how full coverage it actually is and as you can see i actually need to go and get some more 
and I'm just using uh, my uh, actual real beauty blender to buff that out. I was actually super lazy and actually didn't wet it, but it actually turned out pretty good. I normally do wet my beauty blenders, but this time I was actually too lazy to wet my beauty blender, so yep. And I'm just taking that lightest contour shade on the Anastasia palette. I believe it's called Cinnamon and another pointy Real Techniques brush and uh, putting that to contour my cheeks and my temples. So as you can see, I'm just buffing it out and making my face look snatched for the gods. Okay, so for my powder, I usually like to use multiple powders, but for today, I'm just going to be using this Banana Banana Powder for my under eyes and to cut my contour. So right now, I'm just going to be making sure that I have no creases because if you set your face with creases, then your creases will stay and it will not look good. So I'm just making sure I have no creases and then applying the powder on my t-zone area and also under my contour to make it look snatched so as you see i'm just placing my powder everywhere and yeah if you guys have any tips on how to get rid of fine like lines around the mouth please let me know because i always have trouble having those lines after I set my face and I just get so angry because I just want my face to set without creases. Sorry if you guys can hear that motorcycle in the back. I honestly hate motorcycle people because they're so damn extra with their damn motorcycles. But yeah, I know I look crazy and I don't know why my camera's doing that. But yeah, I'm just grabbing my lashes. I got these from Cyber Monday and I'm just trying to make sure which ones would look amazing with this look. I have Demi G by Coco and these ones are super good. These are kind of almost like Baby G from Coco but not really. And yeah, these were 30% off I believe so they're like $4 and these ones are Carrie from Coco Lashes. These are from their new collection and I was actually super excited to try them because I've always wanted to try Carrie so yeah and then doing this primary colors look so I am just using this NYX Vivid Brights liner and Vivid Sapphire and honestly I love NYX don't get me wrong because NYX has to be like the best one of the best drugstore makeups but these liners do not work for shit like these liners crack so easy if you go over them too many times they crack really bad they peel off but i'm still gonna use them though because i don't know any other liners that are colored like this but if you guys do know any good liners that are colored like blues and yellows and oranges please put them down in the description box below because i do want to venture out in more liners and as you can see, I'm trying like super hard to show how I do my wings on camera. And you can see how super hard I'm trying to even make my wings look identical. But wing liner is like a skill for mine. It's like a it's like a drug because I know how to really do. I've been doing wing eyeliner since like the sixth grade, so now i just got done i didn't record it but i just got done doing my lashes and now i'm just putting la colors mascara on top of them to hide my real lashes with the fake ones and now just to seal and set everything i am taking my per miracle mist hydrating spray that i got from ulta and i'm just spritzing that all over my face just to make sure all of my foundation and all my makeup just locks in and then i am taking my kathleen lights times color pop lippy stick and trust me 
And I am also taking my Sephora liquid lipstick. It doesn't have a name. I think it just has a number and it just says 01. That's the name of the Sephora lipstick. And I actually really like this color a lot. It's super pigmented and it's like probably like the cheapest thing in Sephora. This retails for 13 to 14 dollars i believe and i don't really have a lip pencil and red to outline my lips so i'm basically just using the wand from the liquid lipstick to overline my lips and make sure that trust me doesn't bleed out everywhere and honestly you guys the color pop trust me times kathleen lights or whatever is super good it's actually a really really pretty red and it comes out so pigmented and creamy like I've tried ColourPop's liquid lipsticks before, but I stopped buying them just because they're so drying on the lips. And the Trust Me, and actually, I've this is the second time I've tried the lippy stick from ColourPop, and it's so buttery. And it actually it doesn't move. Like when you do the kissing test, it doesn't budge or doesn't move. It's actually kind of like per not permanent, but kind of like a liquid lipstick, but more buttery and moisturizing to the lips. And now for the final step, I am just taking a very fluffy brush from Morphe and spraying it with my setting spray. You can use any setting spray or you can even dab it in some water. And I am taking my fave highlighter, which is from Fenty Beauty. This was Trophy Wife and I absolutely love this highlighter. It's not for everyday use, but I would use it for everyday use. I know it's too uh, like highlighted and glittery and such an outrageous color but it's such a beautiful color to me and it's so pigmented and it's i just I just love it and i'm just putting that all over my nose and highlighting my cheekbones and uh, yeah So yeah, that is the end of this video. I'm super sorry, but I didn't end up getting any videos after the makeup, like showing you guys what it looked like. I just got these snaps, so I am just gonna input some of the snaps I posted on my Snapchat and some of the pictures I did end up posting on Instagram on here so you guys can see what it looked like. And if you guys wanna recreate it, you guys can also tag me. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like more talk throughs like this, give this a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and leave me some beautiful comments because i love reading your guys's comments and i'll see you guys next time bye